so now I'm working hard to fight back um, and getting well. And yeah, coming out swinging. Just like anybody else out in the street, you get swung at, you get knocked down. But hey, when you bounce back, you give it all you got. Those first few days were rough. I mean, I've taken care of people with the virus for many, 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 many years. Um, of course, now there's different strands of it, but back then when people had it, um, it was treated like it is now. Um, I'm, I don't remember it being like a real big to-do like it was back then, but um, like it is now. But yeah, I remember um, when I first started nursing, I was 16, I was 16 years old. When I was 19 is when I started integrating into infection control. I loved it. Everyone else feared it. And I can understand that, but usually this is my personality, always have been, still is. Wherever there's the greatest fear, that's where I want to be. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but I want to be there. Wherever there's the greatest fear of people doing something or going somewhere, that's where I want to go. I want to see why, because I need to understand what's causing that in that you know in the psyche. And the fear came from basically just ignorance because, yes, it is well understood and it is very likely that you're full of infectious diseases that, yeah, you can get caught. But if you learn from them, if you learn about them, you do the research and see when I was uh, um, in nursing, when I started as a um, certified nursing assistant 30-some years ago, you had to pretty much take the same training as LPNs. There was only maybe like three or four different things that we didn't get that they got. Um, and the only other difference is we couldn't give shots. In the medical facility, we couldn't give shots and we couldn't give meds. But inside their homes, yes, we could. <clears throat> but um, I loved it. I learned it. I loved it. The nurses took me under their wings. I was 19. I was eager. I was willing to go. And I, I did it. Nobody else wanted to do it. Um, I loved it. I did. It taught me to have a great respect for life. It taught me to have a great respect for other people. It taught me to have a great respect for how people, even different cultures, um, how their genetic makeup responds to different viruses and different bacterias and um, medications and antidotes and stuff like that for it. Um, it really taught me to have a lot of respect. So we had to learn, you know, back then, we had to do a lot of series of um, quizzes and exams and stuff like that. Every, every other month, the supervisor would come and grab us, and we, she, she made sure that everybody was up to date on the PDR, which is a, phys a physician's desk reference. That's a book field of all the drugs um, that there is on the market that you can give them. And, um, we had to know them. We had to know them and we had to know the side effects and we had to know the color of the drugs, all of that, just like the nurses did. And I'm grateful for the training that I got back then. And I feel sorry for the nurses, um, that, you know, and the nursing assistants that they have now because they don't get the extensive training that we did. 
they don't get the extensive training that we did. My hair is growing. Um, and I, I can really tell a difference. I can really, really, really tell a difference. Um, but I do have a lot of patience with them. If some of them see me and they'll say, hey, what's the best way to um, look for such and such and such and such? And I'll guide them where to go, um, where, to, where to look. Um, you know, like I said, it was, it was a different ball game back then. And here's the thing. Being a, a certified nursing assistant, you were actually a nursing assistant. You were the nurse's assistant. The nurse depended on our observations so they could give the correct thing to the physician. And what we told the nurse, the nurse related to the physician, the physician was able to make a diagnosis off of my observation. So it was important that I knew all of this stuff. It was very important. It's not required of them as much as it is, as it used to be. Um, they go over it lightly, but no, the supervisors um, back then, no, they used to pull you. They used to pull you off the floor and say, come on, take this exam. Let me see how much you know. They did that. They did that. They said, come on, we need you to elevate. We need you to help us um, take care of these patients and help us. Cause it, cause this is what she told. She said, you help us be efficient. And so, yeah, I appreciated it. I don't think I would care for nursing now. If I was to start now, the age that I was then, if I was to start now, I don't think I would enjoy it. I don't, because I don't, I'm a, I'm the type of person I love to learn. And the more that you give me to learn, the better. And the fact that when I talk to a lot of the aides now, they don't get that. I feel so sorry for them. I really, really do. And they was like, how did you know? Like, that's just how they trained us back then. So, yeah. Um, I'm getting ready to make a part two because I was going to talk about how I have been feeling since dealing with Orona. So, yeah, the first three days was rough. It was really, really rough. The first three days was rough. Today, I feel so good that I decided to get some work done. Still can't go anywhere, be around anybody, but I do. I feel really, really good today. So, yeah. I guess I'll make cut this off and make it short. And I hope y'all have a good one.